Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a continuation in a way of some other videos I've done on saturation. And I'll start off with just a quick reminder of what saturation is, particularly in terms of the red, green and blue. So we'll just go to layer, new fill layer. And this is filled with a colour, default colour here, which is actually grey at this point here, 114. But we can basically move things up and down here and we get a different colour. And in fact, the more up and down we move it, the more colourful or more saturated it becomes. So we have, when we've got the, the extreme of that, one at the top, one at the bottom, and the middle one can move up and down to change the colour between those two, then we have a highly saturated, fully saturated colour. The moment we start pulling things off the end stop, now it is less saturated. In fact, the more we pull in things like this, the more grey it gets until they are all the same value. So red, green and blue here. So I can say, let's make them all 129, but it's rolling the mouse wheel here. So now I got a complete grey colouring there. And that's the, the saturation value there is zero. So if you say if this goes from 0 to 100%, and then when it's 100% it's fully saturated, when it's 0%, or even close to 0%, it's pretty much desaturated, and it's monochrome. And this is all about saturation is about, it's about at one end of the scale you've got monochrome, and the other end of the scale you've got colour. Okay. That's enough for now, because what we're going to do, we covered a lot of that in a previous video. So we're now going to actually start playing with that, but in the procedural texture filter, which is down here, live filters and procedural texture. And it's quite a big box here to move it in. And we can do things a bit at a time here. So we're not going to worry about the bottom for now. We're just going to work up the top here. And here, if I hit click the little plus here, it puts a little line in here. And what this has done here, it looks like it's something's happened to this. And what's happened is all the red has been taken out of it. Why? Because the red is turned on here. So that says red channel and it's zero. If I turn that to one, which is 100%, then red is in every pixel here. The red is maxed out to 100%. And the green and blue are what they were in the original picture. If I want to pack, put it to the actual red value, I can put R in there and I get back to the original picture. Or I could say G and that will put the green into the red. I can even go plus here and that's green there now and I can put R in that. And now I've swapped the green and red and so it looks like it looks. A little X at the end here turns this off, by the way. And I can put any value in here. Say so I'll put just one in for the moment, because that turns the red on. But I can click on these others here. If I click on G, then I've made the greens 100%, turned them fully up. So now all i got there is the blues to turn that fully up. And then I've got that to be now 100%. So in other words, red, green, blue are all 100%, which makes this white. If I turn this to naught, they all go down to 0%, which makes it all black. And if I turn these off, they just go back to their original values. I can also play this, but this with A. A is alpha, which is the same as transparency or opacity. So I click on A there. I can put in fractions here, 0 0.5, for example. And now it is 50% opacity here so you see a bit of the picture you've got the checkerboard for behind to show that you can see through it. So what we can do with this now if you remember looking at the, the saturation it was the maximum I put open brackets R comma G comma B close brackets. If I put that in there then that's on the alpha there I'll turn that up put it on the red green and blue together that gives me, say, let's just set each of the pixels here to the maximum. But if you say minus the minimum, M-I-N, you could 
You've got to have capitals for IG and B. And then what I've got here, this is now a map of the saturation of this image. So this area here is the lightest, which means it's the most saturated. So if I just turn the procedural texture off there, you can see this area here is the reddest area. So it is the most saturated there because there aren't any more saturated other colours. Um, so if I put this back on here, but also what I can do here is I turn the red, green and blue off and turn on the A, the alpha, the transparency. Now it translates that into the red, green and blue here as being transparent or less transparent. And so we can use this, actually use it as a mask. So I'm just going to turn this off for the moment here. I'm going to go here, put on a curves, and then drag the procedural texture down to the square icon there. So that is now acting a mask on the curves. So now if I turn the curves up or down, it's only those areas which are changed. So in other words, I'm turning up or down the more saturated areas like this. So that's the first stage that we're going to do on this. In the next version, next video, we're going to take a step further and look at more of the controls that we can put on it. But for now, more about saturation, more about controlling it with procedural texture. We can extend that later. Thank you very much for watching.